Welcome back to the Dirt Head Shed. On this episode, I'm going to show you what wheels and tires are going on the Jeep YJ and how to make a hood go from that to that. This one's going to have some cool tips and tricks on custom paint. This year's Ultimate Adventure Falcon Tire came back as a tire sponsor, so we were able to run their tires on the trip, which is pretty cool. When I built this rig, it was originally on a 38 13 50 17, and it wasn't really geared low enough for it, and the tires were rubbing like the spring mounts and shock mounts at full articulation, so I wanted to step it down a size and go to a 37 12 50 17 which was pretty cool. It turned out to be a good move because I was able to wheel this thing really hard and it didn't seem like it was stressing components as much and I wasn't really like getting the tire into the wheel wells quite as bad. You can see here like tire does rub a little bit but that's partly because I never seem to trim my fenders enough. But this is the combo I went with. This is a Method Trail Series wheel um i'll show you a little clip they have this bead grip technology where it's kind of got these little biting edges that help hold the tire onto the wheel better so you kind of get bead lock style performance but in a simple wheel that doesn't have all the extra bolts and moving parts and all that stuff so this was a pretty good setup some of this video as you can tell i'm filming after the fact and some of it i filmed before but that's really because I did a really bad job of filming and documenting stuff ahead of time. So this is the tire and wheel package. And obviously you can see I put these things to work. Jeez, it really looks like I just can't drive very well. And that's probably kind of accurate. All right. Good tire and wheel setup. I was able to air these things down. I think at most... Off-road parks, I was running 7 PSI in the rear and 8 PSI in the front, which that's extremely low for a non-beadlock wheel, and I didn't have any tire failures. I don't think I even, like, burped any air out of these things. So that's some good, uh, that's some good wheel and tire package right there. Now we're going to get into this hood. This is all about custom paintwork. This is a Chris Durham Motorsports hood, fiberglass, high line hood you can see how the the side of the hood is raised up and has like a built-in little fender flare and they come gray gel coat and you have to prep and paint that so we're going to dig into that a little bit here jeez i almost knocked it on the floor that was crazy all right, so I've got this Jeep hood. This is a Chris Durham Motorsports Highline fiberglass hood for my Jeep YJ. Um, it came in this gray gel coat, and it looked pretty cool, but I kind of want to get, I don't know, I want to do some cool graphics on this thing. And it's like 1045 at night. I leave for Ultimate Adventure in four days, and I figured, what the heck? Might as well see if I can bust out something cool on here. So... I'm gonna prep this thing with 400. I'm not getting too crazy on, but I'm not doing any body work. I'm just gonna scuff this thing up and we're gonna shoot it and see what we can come up with. I have a paint cabinet full of materials over there. So hopefully if all goes well, this will be sort of a tribute to Dirt Every Day because I didn't get a chance to paint this thing while we did the episode and this was the last rig ever to be on Dirt Every Day. So. I want to do sort of a tribute there, and I want to, I don't know, I just want to do some cool stuff. So I'm going to scuff this thing up. I'm going to shoot it silver tonight so that hopefully tomorrow my buddy will come over. Hopefully he comes over. Uh, I've got a friend who's a pretty cool custom painter, and he was going to swing by and show me some tricks. So we'll see if that happens. If not, I'll be doing it on my own, and we'll see where we end up. So should be a pretty fun one. i got to scuff this thing and get it in silver before I go to bed.
All right, so the plan here is to scuff this thing up so that it doesn't have any more shine or gloss to it. Um, I used 400 grit sandpaper first and kind of got the big stuff off, and now I'm going over it with some Scotch-Brite. This is green Scotch-Brite, which is not what you really want. You want the red Scotch-Brite. That stuff seems to work better for auto body prep. But I don't have any, so I'm using this. Um, I'll get this thing all scuffed up and then we're gonna shoot it with a silver base coat. This is Brilliant Silver Duplicolor Paint Shop. It's like a lacquer based um, base coat that you can buy from the auto parts store and it's actually pretty good. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of videos on it on YouTube and some people love it, some people hate it. I think it's really good as far as base coats go, but I'm not really stoked on their clear. So we'll be using base coats if we can that they make and I'll get clear somewhere else. But anyways, we're gonna bust this out, finish stirring this. It comes pre-thinned, but I'm gonna thin it just a little bit more with some reducer. I just thin this a little bit and run it through a strainer because you saw earlier some of it's kind of clumpy. So paint's ready to go. I'm just shooting it through this sort of cheapy Napa paint gun. I actually bought this gun I think when we painted the ice racing van on dirt every day and it was like 70 bucks for a two or three gun kit and it's getting pretty good. All right, let's spray it. Woo! That stuff is shiny. Yeah, this is going to be cool. It's looking really good. Ah. I'm stoked, dude. All right, the silver base is down and it looks really good. So again, that's just that Duplicolor paint shop lacquer base. It's like 30 bucks a quart at the auto parts store. And we'll come over here to my router table slash mixing table. And we're gonna be doing some clear coat. I just have this. This is actually like an auto parts or a paint supply store uh, clear coat. It's a four to one production clear, no name brand. I think this is about 75 bucks a gallon and I've had really good luck with it. I'm going to mix that with some hardener from another brand of clear coat and then the secret ingredient is right here. I've got a bunch of this 0.015 silver metal flake. We're going to mix that in with this first coat of clear. We got the flake in the clear. Probably too much flake. But whatever. This is going to be fun. Alright. Still shooting it out of this cheapy gun from Napa. Keep it moving. See what happens. Probably crank the air up a little bit. Your flake is too big for this gun. 
So it's plugging up the tip and then it started dripping a little bit. I gotta come up with another plan. Plan B, old school siphon feed gun, 1.7 tip. I bought this thing years ago just for shooting flake. We're gonna see if it works better. Let's see if this works. I did stuff. I screwed that spot up pretty bad. It's late. It's a total mess in here. And I come back in the morning and fix it all. Alright. I was up till 1 in the morning the other night doing the uh, metal flake on the hood. And then I had my friend Sean come by who's actually a decent painter. Much better than I am. He saw what I was doing and he was like, just give me that thing. I'm going to take it to my garage and I will paint it for you. So we are right around the corner from Sean's little shop and we're going to go check out and see what he's up to. He just picked it up last night, so I'm kind of curious to see what he's gotten done so far. It should be pretty cool. Hi Sean. Hi. Oh dang. Oh, he's getting down on some crazy town tear off graphics and whatnot. Sick. You can see right here where I totally botched the paint. I dropped like a cup of reducer and flake on it. <laughs> it's pretty sick. Yeah, so Sean came over last night and he was like um, what do you do here? You need to just drop it off with me and we'll <laughs> fix it up. So, I think, everything here. I think it's going to be pretty rad. So cool. Here's where I got to hand it off to Sean. Um, I screwed up the base coat with the flake and the clear. I like got a big old blotch on one side where like the, the flake like splashed out of the cup. Um, so it was time to hand this thing off to Sean. You can give him a follow on Instagram. He is Paint by Snacks. That's S N A X. He's an old school BMX rider. He's a really good painter, and he's becoming a pretty good friend of mine. So, he really saved my bacon on this thing. And you can kind of see how it all went down. He did a base coat of yellow on the sides, and then he he sort of blended that in with a candy yellow up to a tearaway like graphic, which is pretty killer looking. Um. This is really neat in person because there's actually metal flake that you can see through this yellow. But if you go over here, there's like nothing showing through on it. So it's pretty cool. And then the centerpiece of the hood is really what blew me away. Um, I knew that I wanted this walking checker pattern. Uh, this is sort of an old technique that I've seen done a handful of times and I wanted to try it. This was something I really wanted to try, but uh, Sean was like, you know what? I can make this happen. So he he did the candy red walking checker and candy green walking checker over here. And then the centerpiece right here is just amazing. This is like the typical dirt every day stencil pattern but he took it one step further with all the shadowing on it and then he went and did this drip um it's sort of like a water drop like candy pattern on it and there's a shot in here where he's showing you how he like lays water on and then puts the clear on it, candies the clear, and then blows with the air gun to create this like moving drip pattern. 
it's amazing. And then there's candy gold over the top of the silver to give that, that look there. And then he took this stencil. This, this was just an old Ultimate Adventure logo. I actually gave him one of these stickers and he used that as a paint mask and created this thing, which is amazing. This part right here looks like it's jumping off of the hood when you see it in person. And it's also got the water droplets, candy red, candy green over that silver flake. So this whole thing just turned out amazing. Oh, and then I cracked the hood when I forgot to latch it and it smashed into the windshield. That was cool. Sorry, Sean. Um, yeah, the whole thing turned out good. There's a run there. This He did all of this work in I think it was like a day. Part of it on his lunch break, part of it at night after hours. So the whole goal of this was to come up with a piece that I could hang on the wall in my shop and have something up here or over here, spice the place up. And I think we did it. You'll notice from the first part of the video, I have another hood. This is going to get painted yellow and it'll go on the Jeep. This one's going to get hung up on the wall so that I can keep an eye on it forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you also saw that making some mistakes is really not the end of the world. Um, go out there, paint something cool, learn something new, try something different. Just have fun with your rigs. Um, I love doing this kind of paint work. I can't wait to try more of it in the future. And I'm just totally stoked to have this awesome piece to hang on the wall now. Thanks for watching this Dirt Head Shed. We'll see you next time.